Good morning and happy Tuesday. Last Tuesday, I posted a basic rhythm recognition test and this Tuesday, I want to take it. So take it with me. Okay, what we have here is called a systole, also known as a flat line. This signifies the end of any electrical activity in the heart. So the heart's no longer beating, no longer contracting. And despite what Hollywood wants you to believe, we do not shock or defibrillate a systole. This ugly rhythm is called ventricular fibrillation. It is a cardiac arrest rhythm, so you might see it after someone loses pulses, but the heart is no longer contracting like it should be. Instead, it's just quivering, and that's what's showing the disorganization on the monitor. But unlike asystole, you can shock BFib. Okay, this looks like normal sinus rhythm, which typically indicates a normal, healthy human heart. Um, of course, there's exceptions, but it looks like the top part of the heart is contracting, the bottom part of the heart is contracting, and yeah, looks like we have everything we need. This is ventricular tachycardia, and it is unique because it can have a pulse or it can be pulseless. When we're talking about the one without a pulse, we can defibrillate it like we can BFib. But when we're talking about with a pulse, basically the bottom chambers of the heart are contracting so fast the heart's unable to fill with blood. This is called atrial fibrillation, and looking at it, it's actually atrial fibrillation with RVR. But this essentially means that the top chambers of the heart, called the atria, are not contracting like they should. Instead, they're quivering, and that's why you're getting the irregular rhythm that you see right there. I wanted to go into more detail on each of those rhythms, but unfortunately each of the video clips was only 13 to 15 seconds. Um, but let me know if you liked it and if you would like some type of variation of this in the future. We can make it a little bit more difficult. We can throw some stimmies in there. And also if you are looking for more information about each of those rhythms, I've done videos about all of them on my YouTube and on TikTok. So definitely go seek them out, but let me know what you guys want to see in the future.